that the fond farewell to Well, there's a great number of challenges to landing and thriving on the surface of the planet Mars. One of those challenges is resources, the logistics. Humans require a lot of air, water, rocket propellant when you want to leave Mars. And so we're working on ways that we can get those resources locally using the atmosphere of Mars and using ice that's in the soil of Mars and being able to create those resources. The first mission would have a habitat that we transport from the Earth. But long term, we would want to actually 3D print habitat structures on the surface of Mars. It may in fact be easier to build habitats in say lava tubes or caves uh, that exist on Mars uh, and be able to do say inflatable habitats. What's now called the Mars 2020 mission uh, that would take uh, CO2 from the atmosphere and create oxygen as a demonstrator that we can actually do that. So we know that we can make things work in the lab, but making them work in space is much, much more difficult. For example, behind me is a regolith bin, and in that bin is an excavation robot called Razor 2, and it's specifically designed to excavate Mars soil and take it back to a refining station and be able to heat that soil up, releasing the water from it, and then using that water in combination with CO2 that we capture from the Mars atmosphere, we can create methane and oxygen propellants. And those we need to then leave Mars whenever we want to leave the surface of Mars and go into orbit uh, and potentially back to the Earth. We're learning how to grow plants in space, including on Mars, and be able to feed the astronauts using local soils, oxygen and water that's part of the life support system. The possibility exists for Mars to become a commercial venture, but we don't have enough data yet. We know that there's vast resources on Mars, but a lot of details have to be worked out. But certainly there is a promise there.